are we doing out here? Chasing bait, baby. <laughs> Come out a bit of pre-organised. Chopped up pilchards at home. Just little small, probably quarter inch pieces. Running down to a pea sinker. Whoop, we're on. And a little 1-0 hook. Oh, that's what we want. <laughs> and that's what turns into Jew. In the eye tail. <laughs> Pretty cool release. Look at that on the sounder. Oh, yeah. That's the fish we want. As you can see on the sounder, the HDS 12. That's what's kicking down below. And that's what we're chasing, so yeah. Straighten the light tank. <laughs> fresh bait is the key to catch good fish. Put a bit of preparation in, getting your, your bait, and then uh, that's how you land your good fish. Because bait is key, obviously. This is my little rig here. It's a little, um, small little bait rod. One size sinker to one size hook. About a metre of, three quarters of a metre of litre. Burling up around uh, the back of your boat. And as you can see here, I started burling about 10 minutes ago and the action's crazy. How good's that? I'll put it on down scan. You can see the bait really in high def. Wow. That's so good, eh? If Sophia stops moving that uh, <laughs> phone around, might be able to focus on it. But yeah. Try to collect about seven or eight yellow tail and then get stuff back in on it. It's pretty easy, I um, just feed it all like that. This is for the people who don't know, most, most fish I do, but for the people that don't know, just get a little bit of pilchard like that, thread it onto your hook like so, and then chuck him in the burly trap. Back here. Just got a bit of bread and pilchard mixed up. Pretty easy. Pretty easy little system. Float that little bit of pilchard in the burly truck. Check out that sander. The way this thing took off, and I think it's a yakka. I'm tipping it's a trevally of some sort. Oh, look at him wobble. <laughs> they give that predominant head shake trevally. Oh, where is he? Hello. Yeah, he's a little trevally. Are they bait? No, but they're good sashimi. Little grunter he is. <laughs> they can be good bait, but. Beautiful. Look it's too pretty, this little fish. We'll put him back. See you, buddy. <laughs> See you, mate. And we're back at it. <laughs> we're back at it. Hey, little fishy, fishy, wishy. <laughs> like I said, every time you burly up, you just get smashed by Taylor. This is good jew bait, but you got to make sure they're above 25 centimetres, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, this little critter's going back. We are. See you, buddy. <laughs> We're chasing yellow tails, so. Taylor's good bait, but make sure they're oversized, so. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. Just a little bit more about the sounder. Um, the HDS 12 Live from Lawrence. Such a cool sounder. As I said earlier, it's, um, it's so easy to use. It's probably one of the best sounders I've ever used. One, it's big, so you can easily see stuff. Um, two, it's touchscreen. Uh, a lot of them are touchscreen these days, but because it's a 12 inch, it's such easy to use. Like, you look at the sonar there, the high def. You got your whole screen to look at bait. And you can split screen it where you got your, all your marks and where you've been, your trip, and you got your sound on the right. You've also got this feature, the down scan in high def so uh, if, if you're trying to differentiate bait from bigger fish i always like using a down scan which is really good and handy when you're chasing jew or snapper um 
Then you've got your steer. You can have it, as you're travelling on the boat, you can have it in 3D. So you can see exactly where you're going and where you've been, so which is good. Um, with your steer, it's also got, um, it's got your speed, your kilometres. Most importantly, it's got the side scan. I haven't connected the transducer for the side scan yet, but with the side scan high to your slide, you can creep up to crevices and bays and, and little caves on the side where you're fishing and see where exactly where the fish are hiding. So uh, side scan plays a big part in HDS-12. So yeah, Mad guess. Most, Im most importantly is the chart. I love the chart where you can use two, two, two fingers to zoom in and use one finger to screen across where you've been and where you're going. So yeah, such a cool feature. Yeah, a little bit more about the HDS-12 and um, that's the system. Ride that fish, baby. So we've caught our bait. Now it's about bait preparation and um, how you do your rigging. Now, a lot of fish owners know how to use yellowtail and squid and how they prep their baits, but there's a lot of fish owners out there that don't. And so these are, this video is for you guys and um, I promise I'll do one. So here we go. All right, so we've chased our yellowtail for the morning and we've put them in the bin. And we've got them there. First of all, I'll go for the, the Snell rig, which a lot of people use for dew fishing which is the double rig. You've got your two hooks. I usually like using a 5-0 or 6-0 on the top and a 4-0 or 5 on the bottom. Sometimes the opposite, because a lot of dew fish and snapper, they always go for the head first, as most people know. So I usually put the stinger at the top, the bigger, the bigger hook. Um, with squid, it's pretty easy. You just get your squid, you line it up like that. You get your whole squid. You try to rig your snell up to the size of the squid that you're going to be using. So... Um, you get your stinger hook, the one at the top, and you put it straight through the hood of the hood of the squid like that. And then you've got your dropper rig. What you kind of do is um, pierce the bottom of the hood like that. Try to push his head back and curl the hook just like that and turn the hook so it sits in nice. So you've got half the Half the, the bottom of the rig through his head and half through the hood. So the bait sits like that. The biggest thing is with these Jew and Snapper, um, as most people know, is it's got to look presentable. Like when the, when when it's sitting there in the current, it's got to look like a real bait. And if it looks, if it twists and turns in the current, fish aren't going to hit it. So there's your snow rig. It's pretty easy. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. So yeah. All right, for the single rig, this is the easiest. You lose a lot of baits, but for big fish and to sit better in the current, what you do, you just pierce the top of the hood. This is the hardest one of the lot, this one. And that's it. <laughs> I like to use that rig with Jew if I'm using squid. A lot of people use strip baits. I'm not big on strip baits. I'd rather lose a lot of squid than uh, not get as many hits, so. I see. I think when it, when a juice sees that floating in the current, it's pretty irresistible, mate. So um, yeah, that's a single. Alrighty, now moving on to the yellow tar. Usually about three, four inches. It's probably the most predominant size with the yellow tar that do like hitting. They call them lollipops, apart from the squid. Um, this is the way I rig them. Most importantly, get the sharpest knife you can. I usually go for these new knives by Martini. Great blades and great metal. So, the yellow tail like that. What you do, you get the knife and you just put it in the back of the yellow tail's head and you're piercing. Like so. Just above the gill plate and then run your fillet knife all the way down the backbone. Turn him over and do the same. You can sort of get by feeling. You can feel the, the bone of the fish. Feel the backbone and just run it down his spine again on the other side. And you're left with a filleted yellow tail. Remove the backbone like that. Use that as belly, and there you have it. 
So when the fish sits in the current, he's got no backbone and he just flows freely through the current and looks like a real fish. I usually piece him with a one hook rig, like so, just under the bottom lip. Always go for the hardest part of the yellow tail, which is the top of the lip, so you don't slip in the current, like so. And there's your ultimate dew bait. Another system I like to use too, sometimes if you're running at a squid, um, it's a bit of a weird system, it's harder to do, but I've found it to be proved lethal on the water. Strip your squid up. Strip it up in like small little triangle pieces when you're running at a squid. Do the yellow tail like so. Fill it to the butterfly like that. And try to run that little strip squid through the back of the yellow tail and the pointy bit up through the mouth. So there you have it. You got your butterfly yellow tail and the strip of squid coming between its body and sitting in the current like that. So if they miss the yellow tail, they'll sure, sure hit the stinger, the squid. And I've uh, caught some big dew on that method too. So uh, yeah. So I hope that's helped you out a little bit on the water. And there you have it, the yellow tail, the squid, predominantly using 40 pound leader, black magic leader, fluorocarbon, DX50 hooks with the yellow tail, and that's a lethal combination. Anyways, tight lines for shows, ride that fish baby.